I recently kicked my sister out of our home for the way she reacted to a photo of my husband and his first wife. I met him a few months after she died in a car accident. Got married two years after that. We have been together six years. He was devastated when she died. I told him I never expected to replace her in any way and considered myself another chapter in his life. I was warmly accepted into the family and his circle of friends. My sister recently she fell on hard times, lost her job, apartment, and so on. We took her in. My husband has always had a home office. My sister was poking around the house when he was out and discovered a photo of him and his first wife among the framed pictures he has. It's not their wedding photo or anything, just a typical cute couple photo. It's the only printed photo of her in the house, taken a few months before her accident. They didn't have kids, so pics are all he has. There are a lot more photos of us. I was reading on the couch when my sister came stomping into the room holding the framed photo. She angrily asked, "Why do you let him keep a photo of his ex in your house?" I replied, "First, it's our house, and second, she is not an ex. She died in an accident and was his wife for 8 years. She was a huge part of his life. He keeps that one photo out." She replied, "An ex is anyone you have slept with who is not in the picture anymore. Me No, that's not how it works. She died. Sis, doesn't matter. So what if she got pasted by a truck and X is an X? You shouldn't be letting him keep any pictures. Me, you are being extremely disrespectful to me and my husband right now. You are a guest in this house. Walk back those comments and apologize now. Sis, why should I apologize? How can you let him keep pictures of an X F toy? I never knew his first wife, but I know how much she meant to him. I know how much he loves me. My sister talking about her like that insulted him. And by extension me, not to mention how disrespectful she was being to a poor woman who died young. I said, "Get your crap and leave." I didn't care that it was November in Amen or that she didn't have anywhere else to go or any money. She had been beyond disrespectful to me and my husband over a single small photo. Me If you are worried about sleeping in your car this winter, you should have thought of that before insulting the people sheltering you. I made sure she was gone before my husband even got home. He was shocked when I told him what had happened. Since he had always had a polite, neutral relationship with her, he thanked me for having his back. I got a call from my mom telling me it was my responsibility to take care of my sister. I laughed and hung up. I have been asked by a few people how i could basically destroy my relationship with my sister over this and have replied that she was the one who did so am i the idiot for how i handle this not the idiot i'm currently dealing with stage 4 cancer and i may not have that long left my fiance is only 25 years old not only do i expect he will be with someone after i'm gone but i hope for it i don't want him to spend the rest of his hopefully long life alone and mourning over me you did exactly the right thing and i can only hope that whoever loves my fiance in the future will respect my memory as much as you respect your husband's first wife's good on you not the idiot you didn't kick her out over a photo you kicked her out for being disrespectful rude and absolutely inconsiderate you are right about your husband's late wife she is not an ex and nor is she is a f toy she was your husband's wife to say that she was a f toy was just purely disrespectful to the poor woman's memory what does your sister expect for your husband to forget all about his late wife they didn't break up one of them died it's not an ex situation as you said you are a new chapter that doesn't mean you burn the old chapter it's okay to appreciate the present while appreciating the past you did the right thing not the idiot your sister was out of line i'm curious why your mother thinks it's your responsibility to take care for your sister unless your sister is under age you have every right to tell her leave not the idiot Anyone who would refer to a dead spouse as a f toy is so far over the line that you are absolutely right to draw this boundary and enforce it. Good for you. Not the idiot. Your sister is though. To start with, she is poking around your house, which is rude out of the gate. Then she has the nerve to be offended by a picture that is literally none of her business, and she has to double down to be even more of a rude, insensitive idiot. You are absolutely right to defend your husband and his late wife. She was totally out of line, and she kicked herself out. If your mom is so worried, she can take your sister in. I, male, thirty-two, met my wife three years ago. We got married nine months ago. We have a baby boy together that she got pregnant with while we were engaged. My wife used to be a sex worker, 
No judgment on that, please. She did what she had to do to survive. My parents were always being skeptical about her and a lot of times asked if I want to settle down with her. When she got pregnant, they went nuts and demanded a DNA test. They refused to attend the wedding till the DNA test was done, which caused a huge problem. They ended up missing the wedding, obviously. The test was done because my wife wanted to prove a point and eventually my parents made amends and we reconciled. They started visiting and yesterday noticed the photo of the DNA test that I hang in the living room. They asked about it and I told that it serves as a reminder for why they didn't attend my wedding. They were stunned and livid. When I mentioned that, I tell any guest the same thing I told them. Mom and dad were mad and asked me repeatedly to take it down saying, I am being too harsh on them and refusing to let go of the past as well as embarrassing them to the other family members. I refuse to take it down and I admit being sarcastic in my response saying, it goes with the house decor. They begged then refused to come over anymore till I remove it. My brother thinks it's petty and childish and said I should take it down. Alright, I am editing some stuff in. First of all, my wife doesn't mind having the photo up. She laughs about it sometimes but she is still carrying some hurt that was caused by what happened. And second of all, she no longer does sex work. It's all in the past. And did I mention that my brother and I aren't close? He is known as a crackhead in the family. So that's that. How does your wife feel about her past being a continued topic for public conversation? That's really the only thing that matters. OP replied, his wife is on board with it although still hurt by his family's reaction. Not the idiot for having it where his parents can see it, but I feel like he should rethink his strategy going forward. There could be other ramifications as his child gets older. Not the idiot. I find it petty telling by their attitude towards the DNA test isn't out of shame for how poorly they treated your wife for being a former sex worker, but rather what other people would think of them. I would have a sit down with your parents and find out what they still think of your wife. Because personally, I wouldn't want my parents near my child if they are gonna view my partner as lesser than. Everyone sucks here. What your parents did was wrong. However you claim you have reconciled and yet you continue to have a reminder that they missed your wedding. What you are doing is childish and petty. I am going to say not the idiot. I am torn though. On one hand, it is pretty petty but your parents are no stranger to pettiness either. It just seems to me like there really hasn't been a reconciliation if you still feel the need to display the test just to cease fire really. Also props to you on not judging your wife on her past and for not standing for anyone else judging her on it either. Some background info. My mother 37 had me 20 male at 17. She was never a mother to me and I was raised by my grandparents and later my uncle 34. When I was 8, my grandma got sick and my uncle who was 22 at the time started taking me in and I moved with him full time at 12. I only saw my mother for family events and she was always criticizing me. How I looked, my hobbies, what I liked. By 14, I refused to talk or see her. When I was 18, my uncle proposed to legally adopt me. I decided to go see my mother one last time to inform her and have some closure. During this talk, she told me my father's name. I talked to my family about him and long story short, basically everyone know him. His family lived in the same town as my great grandparents and my family used to go there every holidays. I decided to try to meet him with my uncle. He 36 moved back a few years back to be close to his family and he took everything pretty well. I did make sure to inform him that I already had a dad. He told me he had no children and was interested in knowing me. He presented me to his parents and they even found some pictures of me with him from before he went to college. For the last two years we had a pretty great relationship. He also got along well but my uncle at college I call him once a week and I see him pretty often. The issue is his GFNA. They don't live together and have been a couple for over three years. She made it clear that I had no place here. After a few encounters with her, she reminded me so much of my mom, her attitude, her remarks and critics that I refused to go see him for a while. I think he realized because he told me that she didn't need to be here every time. I only see her when I go to eat with him at his parents. She still managed to make it clear that I don't belong in this family. When I ask questions, he tells me stuff like, if you were really a part of the family, you should know, always pointing physical differences. So it was a surprise when she called me last week. I thought it was an emergency, so I answered. She told me that she wanted to move in with my dad, but he refused because he knows we don't get along and he wanted his house to be a safe place for me. And he was afraid I would come by less if she was here all the time. It's the truth. 
She then told me I should put my grudges aside and try to be nicer to her for my father's sake. I told her no. I had years of therapy to be able to remove toxic people from my life and being with her is like being with my mom. I do not want to put myself in this kind of situation anymore. I talked to my uncle and he agrees. For him my mental health should always be my top priority but some other people think that I should at least make an effort for my father's happiness and that it would be selfish to not try. Not the idiot. Please tell your father she called you and what she said. She was way out of line to contact you. Especially since he had set a clear boundary. Your father decided your feeling safe at his home was more important than moving in with her. So everyone who says you should put his happiness first needs to be quiet. He made his decision. Not the idiot. If she can't play nice, why would you? If she makes a genuine effort to get to know you and be a nice person, then you should try too. But if she is going to continue to make you feel unwelcome, not effort needed. Absolutely not the idiot. I am so sorry all that happened to you. I am also so glad you were blessed with such an amazing, amazing uncle, dad, which was your bio dad all those years. If you were in pictures with him, he knew about you. It's great he wants to protect you and keep you safe. If she were to move in, you would need to meet him somewhere else to visit and catch him. I'm sorry she has been so unkind to you. That's not okay at all. I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Not the idiot and I am glad your dad is looking out for both you and your relationship with him. It's not up to you to disregard her toxic behavior towards you. It's up to her to change her behavior. Not the idiot. I agree with your uncle. Take care of yourself. By the way, she has only been in your dad's life one year longer than you. Talking about someone who thinks he has competition, even though it doesn't seem like you are trying to compete for him. Update. So at first, I wasn't sure about making an update but the comments I got really helped me. You are all saying what my uncle and some friends were saying to me, but it's different. Hearing it from people who don't know me and aren't biased. After reading your comments, I realized what the issue was. When I explain my family situation to people, a lot of them, not close friends and immediate family, say the same thing. How lucky I am to have a bio dad who wants and agrees to spend time to get to know me. How grateful I should be. My bio dad or his family never made me feel like that. But I guess that after hearing a lot of people saying it, it kind of got to me and I realize now that I was restraining myself to not disappoint him. I guess in my mind I had to work and be nice to have his affection because I did not deserve it. You can blame my bio mom for that. Anyway, after realizing that I also realized that I never told him and his parents how his GF was cheating me. And I also realized he was smart enough to do it when they were all out of earshot. I am a non-confrontational person and I was scared to say everything at once to my bio dad. And I was afraid to not be able to express properly everything I wanted to convey. I talked to my uncle about it and he proposed to make an appointment with a therapist to have a kind of family session so it would be easier for me to express myself. We did it before in our family and it helped me a lot. We talked about it to my bio dad and he immediately agreed. He could sense that something was off. Anyway, during the session I kind of exploded. I started talking and couldn't stop myself. At first I felt that it made no sense because I was saying everything and nothing at once. But luckily the therapist helped a lot. We all had a very long talk and put everything on the table. My bio dad had no idea that it was this bad with his GF. And he was really appalled and remorseful for not realizing it. Something that angered him and my uncle a lot was the comment about me not looking like my dad which I never took notice of because it's true. My mom and uncle are half Filipino and I took everything from the Filipino side except his dimples. Apparently the comments about me not being part of the family was because of my racial background. So yeah, on top of everything, she was racist. All of this happened last month and since then he broke up with her. And I try to be more honest about what I feel without being afraid of what he thinks. He also proposed to continue family therapy if I feel like it would help me talk about certain topics. This relationship is still a work in progress but honestly I feel very good about it. And some of you asked, but yes my uncle adopted me when I turned 18. So again thanks for all your help and your kind words. I was really expecting to be called an idiot when I wrote the original post.